everything looks fine except to the fact Dude, that it's not do something fine. about it already. <laughs> yes, I am trying. <laughs> oh damn, I don't have Waterloo Kingdoms, the oh, uh, new shit. version. <laughs> then you should be on the stream. <laughs> uh, damn it. to it and see if that works. I hear myself too loud at your uh, at your side. I'll lower my mic. Yeah. Oh ah. <laughs> can you hear me hey? now? Yes. Yes, finally yeah I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you should you should uh, lower my volume. Uh, I'm gonna do that now. I hope I didn't uh, lower it too much. It's around like 40% now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, but you don't have uh, Volo looking Kingdoms, right? I'm gonna get it just a sec. Uh, okay. It's gonna... Well, not, not a sec. It's okay. gonna take some while. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's see how long it's gonna take. Uh, by the way, who's playing who? Uh, Inkanda versus the Dragon Star. Ah, guess we know who'll win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he played with you uh, against you yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah. That uh, was a fun game. Today we have two games. Uh, the first game uh, is between Dragon Star and Panda, and the second game is between Steve. Uh, sorry, Jack versus Shy. So. I don't know. Perfect. I don't, I don't, what's yeah. the number of the game? I, I want to see the... So this uh, is the first game uh, as for the seedings? I want to see the seedings, yes. Yeah, this is the first game uh, as for the seedings, yes. Uh, how do I see the seedings? Uh, go to challenger.com. Just type uh, exclamation uh, brackets Excl in the, on Twitch. Uh, it'll, read, uh, it'll give you the link. Okay. So okay. we are in the game guys. I hope Dinamar gets his Wolo Kingdom soon so that he can spectate the game <laughs> and get himself involved in the commentary. But what till a then, nice yeah. <laughs> challenge. Uh, till then I'm gonna Uhuha uh, one? Sorry? Uhu haha one? Uh no, that was a buy uh from the other player. Mm -hmm. So let's have a quick look at the bases. We have your Eng Panda playing in purple as Japanese. This is Wolulu Kingdoms, guys. Finally, we have one game uh, at least played on Wolulu Kingdoms. On the other side, we have Dragon Star playing in blue as Mongols. Oh, damn it. Mongols versus Japanese, guys. Interesting game. So, uh, Dragon Star, uh, let's have a look at his resource placements. Uh, that gold, yeah, it's really good. It's right next to the TC. And the main and the secondary stone is also next to it where he can easily wall his space. Uh, by maybe building a couple of houses here and then little palisade wall over here and on the other side he has this main stone which is on the slope of the hill which is not good hey man uh, I'm, I'm going to study meanwhile what sorry i'm going to study meanwhile until uh, okay. it uh, gets done okay with. cool yeah then I, yeah see you later okay see ya okay. so here we have the secondary goal and um, oh this is actually nice for him like all the resources are located at his base uh but he cannot wall it wall it off maybe a little palisade wall here a couple of houses yeah I, it's okay base not not that bad and also not that good uh and the wood line is also great there's two wood lines close by uh, if he wants he can yeah wall it off with maybe houses and palisade walls but on the other side we have uh that glitchy gold man for ink panda which is not great uh, if he wants, he can uh, call it a re because of that glitch. But other than that, the rest, uh, rest of the map is fine. He has that main stone next to the wood line. The secondary goal is forward. Uh, and the forage bush is also forward. Uh, he's getting his uh, must board now. It looks good. Hey Farmcoin, welcome man, welcome to the stream. 
uh yeah but he's if he wants he can wall up but it's yeah pretty long uh thing so he has to wall this area and then this long and yeah this location he has to walk like little too far from his pc and wall this area off hello man what's up how are you doing but walling yeah he if he wants he can do it but yeah i think he has like little uh, his map is little worse than dragons so i think dragon will take advantage of his map and yeah move forward and try to harass him i don't know let's see what he's gonna do so let's have a look at the, uh, the relic locations so there is one relic uh, the top corner to dragon space and the second relic is also uh, the bottom uh, corner of his space and there are two relics uh, in between the map so i'm not sure whether these players might be going for relics or not but if uh, ink panda wants one relic to him it's right next to his base so yeah it's yeah maps are map is pretty okay for both the players considering uh, that like and you know, everything is open <laughs> yeah uh, hey farm <laughs> so let's see what dragon can see so dragon has scouted his complete map and he also knows that one relic at the top of uh, his base and he also knows that one relic which is at uh, his opponent's base and he also knows where his opponent is uh, that's pretty good scouting by him and ink panda so ink panda knows where dragon is he also scouted his complete base hey man what's up what's up buddy what do you think of uh mangoes and japanese who do you think you uh, gonna win this game so right now both the players uh not pretty much similar at the pop Dragon is at 20 and Ink Panda is at 19 now. So we already see that one will difference. And Ink Panda is going for Loom. Okay. And Dragon is advancing to Feudal. Oh man. Uh, Dragon is a better player. He is 17, uh, 1740 rated. And Ink Panda is around. Uh, let me think. He's around. I think 1500 something so so far uh, there's no barracks yet from dragon star but the first barracks is coming from ink panda and oh, okay this is interesting my mill man i think he should be pushing that uh, deer to the tc because they are not that far or maybe to the mill you could actually do that and he's trying to wall up his uh, base and his goal is uh, the back of his TC uh, which is good he can actually use that without getting harassed if he can wall up this area and dragon okay the dragon has started building his first barracks but Ink Panda already has barracks there you go, Dragon already reached the Feudal and let's see what his plan is. He's gonna go for archers or uh, scouts. He's Mongols. So let's see what he's gonna build now. Oh, he's building stable. Stable, there you go, so scouts. So mostly it's scouts from Dragon. And Ink Panda. I don't know why he clicked up with 19 builds. So he's making a stable too. <laughs> yeah the deer are so close yeah but maybe he's not confident of pushing them so we have spearmen so ink panda knows that dragon is on sta dragon has a stable and he's going for scouts in defense he's making spearmen which is not bad at all so and ink panda is still scouting dragon at his base and seeing uh, what dragon is going for so there you go, dragon walled up uh, on the left flank of his base uh, with the palisades and the house 
and on the right side yeah it's open but yeah it's okay so there you go the scout is already out for dragon and the gather point is right <laughs> uh, in front of uh, ink panda space oh man and he actually started harassing the uh, villagers who are collecting berries and the lag Oh my god. Oh my god. A dragon already said that his internet connection is not so great today. And yeah, let's see. These guys gonna restore it or wait for the players to connect? I'm not sure. Okay. Somehow connected. Oh, there you go, guys. We have the first fight. The scouts are in uh, in Ink Panda space. And oh man, don't use all the villagers. Don't move forward. Use that spearman. It seems like Ink Panda is under pressure at the moment. And he just lost his scout. Oh my god. And Dragon is just making more scouts. Uh, he has five scouts. At the moment, and oh, okay, military wise, both are uh, pretty much the same like three scouts and two spearmen for Ink Panda, and five scouts for Dragon Star. So, I would say Ink Panda has much yes. better composition. Seems like they paused the game. Come on, dragon! <laughs> That's such a lame excuse, dragon said, like, I got a phone, I have to attend this call, please wait for a sec. <laughs> Damn. That's not good. There you go, now Aang Panda is in dragon's base with his scouts, but dragon has a spearman to protect his base. Just one spearman, and he's gonna lose that spearman. That was nice micro by uh, Aang Panda. Oh, Dragon is gonna lose few wheels here, maybe, or may not. That spear is coming now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he did not lose a single wheel. And he, he doesn't care about the scouts. He, like, he's still collecting the wood. <laughs> oh, that's really, that's really silly. <laughs> yeah, phone mama is calling. Yeah, he's, yeah, probably his mom. Or maybe his girlfriend, who knows. <laughs> There you go, that scout went down. And now Dragon, Dragon is using his scouts to harass his opponent, but that's not actually working. That's two spearmen on top of that hill are actually protecting that forward a little entrance and making sure that, that these scouts are not getting into his base anytime soon. Hey man. Hello, what's up dude? It's it gonna take three hours or something <laughs> okay then i'll see you in three hours <laughs> is there gonna be any other game yeah there's one more game after this in uh, one, when uh 18 gmt uh, uh is it gonna be lolo kingdoms as well uh not sure so it's up to the players so uh, <laughs> have to see okay bye uh, again bye, <laughs> bye again See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <Yeah. laughs> so we have this. Okay, blacksmith from Ink Panda. And let's see what Dragon is doing. Okay, blacksmith and another stable from Mongol player. So he is not planned to go for archers. So it seems like he's gonna go for knights and then maybe later collect that stone and maybe Mongodai. But right now he successfully succeeded uh, in restricting his player into his base and forced him to make those uh, extra houses in the base and delay that secondary lumber camp. Oh guys, we have Eng Panda advancing to castle. So he'll be the first one to reach castle. But what is he gonna go for? He is still on that one stable. He's Japanese. 
and yeah like he has enough farms and enough uh, villages on gold okay there you go he's going for archers guys so yeah and dragon he's on two stables and he still hasn't clicked up oh oh my bad my bad sorry he already clicked up he clicked up much earlier than ink panda oh my god what am i seeing here <laughs> damn it damn it so we might be seeing uh knights versus combs so that's not gonna end well for ink panda if he doesn't scout and see but dragon is coming forward with a villager and he's dropping a siege workshop does ink panda know about this he doesn't know ink panda doesn't know oh my god and he's giving up more and more skirmishes but dragon most probably he's gonna come forward with the knights. There you go guys. Knights are already coming out for the dragon. With bloodlines and one upgrade. Yeah. Plus one. Plus one. So there you go guys. Scouts. Uh, knights are out. And this forward siege workshop. Let's see what he if he's gonna make anything out of that siege workshop. So for nothing. But the knights are already here. And one more archery range, second archery range by Eng Panda. He actually did a good job in sealing up his base completely. But is it gonna be his end? Because Dragon has a map control now. And he has a forward siege workshop. And is and he's making a scorpion out of it. And those four knights, man, four knights. It's not good. Hey Bharat, yeah, sure man. You can. I haven't played for a long long time yeah sure so after these two games yeah we can play oh uh, there you go he lost all the scouts and there is a hole guys there is a hole so there is always a hole there is always a hole so I'm not sure whether dragon is gonna make use of that hole and send those knights into his base so he's not doing that at the moment he's just focusing in Killing those, uh, destroying those two archery rangers, um, and he should be using those knights. He's making more and more knights, and the gather point is at the front of uh, Ink Panda's base. Yeah, I think so too, uh, Parrot. He got the sleep. So. There you go, there are so many knights in his base and in response to that Oh man, Ink Panda has nothing. He has he's on two TCs, but no military. Dragon is on two TCs, but it's a lot of knights and scouts. Oh this is not looking good guys. This is not looking good for Ink Panda. Any comeback? Oh man, look 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 at the wheels. Wheels are dying near the uh, he he actually forgot to wall, uh, wall himself inside that. <laughs> oh man! So, Ink Panda is completely denied to collect gold, and the wood line is getting harassed now. Look at the will difference: 31 to 45 already, and the kill death ratio: 23 to 7 dragon to dragon. Oh my god! It seems like the game is already over. There you go, Ink Panda called the game. GG, well played. Well played to both uh, to both of them. And Dragon actually got this game under control. So look at the will difference, 45 to 38. And Dragon reached Castle at 20 minutes and he started pumping out those knights and started harassing his opponent and took the game away from him. Uh, there you go guys well played to both the players yes well played so let me invite these guys to discord and then we can have a small chat
Hey guys, if you have time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So, let's wait for these people to join uh, on Discord. I have invited them to uh, join me. So, Dragon seems like he's already there. Uh, hey, Dragon! What's up, bud? Uh, seems like Dragon cannot hear me. <laughs> I can. Oh, cool. Welcome, welcome. And, how was the game, dude? Not gonna lie. Sorry? The voice is breaking up. Not gonna lie, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought so too. But actually, uh, uh, Ink Panda, he really played good. And he actually, yeah, managed to wall his base completely. And yeah, he defended well, at least for some time. Until those knights came out. I wasn't making that many scouts, I just made those scouts just to keep him busy. Mm -hmm. And walling that much, I think, slowed him down. Yeah, I, yeah. Wasn't so fast cool. enough. Mm -hmm. Did, like, uh, kill all, only, like, two villages for all of his army, which I think was not worth it at all. He should have just attacked and run away. Yeah. To do that, and seems like he wasn't paying attention on that. But mm -hmm. yeah. That early scout raid would have paid off if he wasn't positioning into skirmishers. Yeah, that because, is Because, like, I went for knights because I was expecting him to go for crossbows mm -hmm. or, like, pikemen or something. Yeah. But in the beginning, he had, like, scouts and uh, uh, spearmen. But later, I'm not sure I... why he... He knew I was Mongols, so I was going to go for scouts. So mm -hmm. I just made scouts regardless because they are really good for your economy and map control. Yeah. And then just went for knights from there because transitioning into knights will be really helpful for the early push which I wanted to do and I managed to do with siege and everything. Mm -hmm. Went for a third town center instead of making siege, but I just wanted to end it quickly. <laughs> oh man, but that was actually a fun game. Uh, yeah, well played, and yeah, you are now through the first round, and the second, you uh, you just have to fill the uh, fill your availability for round of sixteen. I think it will probably be again. Uh, what do you call next weekend if that is possible like uh, around saturday uh yeah i think so too uh next or saturday. is that too late oh uh, i'm not sure it completely depends on the uh like you know availability of your opponent as well so i'm like available next week yeah uh, saturday sunday and monday yeah, i'm I mean, available like... those three weeks mm -hmm. and next round is starting uh only uh uh next monday so and it goes till like you know end of the week so if your opponent is available at the end of the week i can uh yeah schedule it for you that will be very weekend. easy for me then okay but yeah cool. i hope to win this whole thing <laughs> without whole thing. losing yeah. a single yeah. game <laughs> good luck good luck man we're looking forward to that yeah i'll just yeah. tune into your stream now and then mm -hmm. i have some thing to do right now so i'll leave you guys okay, to no the worries. rest of the games yeah no worries but and i'll probably be back around tomorrow when you are going to be play, like casting other games maybe help you out with a co-cast yeah sure uh tomorrow i have only uh, one game planned because uh, uh this brown dynamite he's not available tomorrow uh so i had to reschedule that game to uh, 31st but tomorrow we have uh, one game between stevie and both dk so it is at 17 yeah. GMT. If you are free, yeah, feel uh, free to drop by. Yeah, around 10:30. Yeah, I'll be free. In Indian time, yes, true. 
I can just spectate the match. I'm not sure about uh, co-casting with you because I'll be back uh, in my university, so won't be having access to. Ah, okay, no worries. So yeah. meant to whatever, uh, whatever that you are comfortable <laughs> doing, yeah, feel free. And yeah, I'll see you yeah. uh, tomorrow then. Uh, thanks a lot for the game yeah, and thanks okay. a lot for joining me on Discord. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and good luck for the rest of the game. And please don't forget to fill your availability for the next round. Well, I'm, I'm a bit lazy. You can do that for uh, me no, if you no, want. No, that's not going to work. So please do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.